Hey guys, I'm Ronnie, and today uh, I'm going to be showing you how to build a video editing computer or, I mean, and a uh, gaming computer. So I'm most likely, and most of the time, I'm going to be using it as a video editing computer. So I chose a powerful CPU and a powerful graphics card, which I'm going to show you later. So now let's just go over the plots. So we chose, for the case, we chose the Cosmos SE ATX Tower. This is huge. A full tower that will provide enough airflow for us and an enough hard drive base in the future. So, CPU, we work with the uh, Intel i7 5930K. This is the new Haswell E series from Intel and uh, runs on the LGA 2011 Wii Free socket, which is not bad, it's compatible with the LGA 2011 on the Sandy Bridge E or Ivy Bridge E model. So, this is the least. Uh, expensive 6 core processor uh, from Intel that supports 40 PCI lanes. Um, there's a cheaper version of 6 core processors, which is the 5820K, which only supports 28 PCIe 3.0 lanes. This supports 40, so we went one step up. Uh, DVD drives, we went with two Asus, uh, Asus DVD 24X DVD drives. Uh, and uh, for the SSD, because they are cheap, so we went with two. For the SSD, we went with the Intel 530 series 240 gigabyte drive. Uh, we uh, we decided to choose this. Uh, we before we intended to choose the Samsung 840 Evil 256 or 240 gigabyte drive, but this was uh, ending up was cheaper than that because this was on sale. So of course, we chose it. And storage, we chose two uh, Seagate uh, desktop HDD two terabyte drives, 7200 RPM drives from Seagate. So we're gonna running them in RAID zero. Yes, RAID zero for the most maximum performance. And of course, I have a backup solution. So here is uh, the external enclosure that I'm gonna be using for backup. So yeah, that is RAID five. Um, so I'm gonna do, be doing daily backups so I'm not gonna worry about that for a case is here and I actually removed that out for the time being and uh, this should have a clear window and I removed that as well it's in this box right now so uh, for the power supply we went to the FSP 750 watt power supply this is the RM CM 750 and uh, it has 80 plus gold efficiency so that's why we chose it and it has eight SATA ports, which is good for future expandability. Um, it has a USC 5 million product insurance, five year warranty, have SLI ready, all that kind of good stuff. So, this is a multi rail power supply, uh, which means we don't load a lot of stuff on a single rail power supply. So for the motherboard, we went with the X99 from Gigabyte, X99 UD4, this is the ultra-durable version. So the good goods about this uh, is, uh, of course, it supports DDR4 and an LGA 2011 Wii Free socket. So inside, uh, it has a lot of PCI lanes, quad-channel, DDR4, 8-pin CPU power, supports 4-way SLI, there are 4 16x slots, for PCIe 3.01x slots, 5 plus 2, um, that means 7, 7 USB 3.0 ports, and 8 USB 2.0 ports, and 2 PS2 ports for mouse and keyboard. And you have this uh, QFlash plus USB port. So here are uh, some audio stuff, uh, 8 channel, and has antenna mounting brackets, so yeah. Um, it has a uh, backlit uh, IO shield, and of course, uh, good heat sinks and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna shoot a video of building the computer because that's almost impossible for me to shoot videos on one hand and screw that in, and I don't have a tripod really. And for the cooling, we have the Cooler Master Satan um, 240M, which is covered by here, yeah, 240M, and this is a liquid cooler, so uh, has supports two fans, 
and mount them on a radiator. So at last, for the graphics card, we went with the GTX 970. This, uh, we intended to buy the 770 before, but um, the 970 came out days ago, uh, about a week ago actually, and it's much more faster than the 770. Uh, this is extreme overclocked from Galax, not Galaxy. Um, so this has 4 gigabytes of GDDR5. Uh, 6 plus 8 pin. So this has, this is actually uh, based on a Maxwell architecture, so it's uh, much more power efficient. And yeah, um, so this is the end of the port choosing video. Uh, like or dislike, leave a comment, let me know uh, how, the, how, how good or how bad are the ports for this PC, for video editing and gaming. And remember to subscribe to this channel, and we will post the benchmarking video as soon as possible. So yeah, subscribe to the channel, helps us out a lot, and be sure you do that, because we'll upload videos very often. Yeah. Bye.